What's good with the Black Goose TV family? As always, I want to just pray that nothing but blessings is going your way, man. Salute to the people. Salute, salute, salute. And hopefully your Wednesday is going absolutely amazing. Look, I got some boxing news for y'all. Now, obviously, this particular news that I'm going to be talking about, one, it brings me absolute joy and excitement to tell y'all about this news, particularly because, disclaimer, disclaimer, Anthony R is one of my favorite boxers, so I'm very very ecstatic, very happy to hear he's finally getting the opportunity and the chance that he has been deserved. I'm telling you guys, y'all just going to shock the world. He's going to shock the world. But before we get into all that, man, please hit the like button below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not part of the motherfucking Black Goose TV family. And as always, man, drop your comments. Drop your comments. Drop your comments. Disagree with me. Talk shit. I don't really care. It helps with the algorithm. You feel me? Now, with all that being out the way, I did talk about this a little bit. Uh, on the stream uh, yesterday, Fluence and Zen. Make sure you guys go check that out. It was absolutely lit in that joint. An hour in or something like that, Zen had to go. But the next hour, uh, I went crazy. Whole lot of boxing talk, whole lot of boxing talk, whole lot of fun. So uh, y'all can check that out if y'all want to. But um, if you guys want to go ahead and get a quick rundown, y'all stay tuned for this right here. I'm just going to let you know right now, Anthony Yard, he's here. And he's here to stay, finally getting the recognition. As you can see in this particular article, he is to face Arthur Betterbiv versus Joe Smith winner in October. Now, I dropped a video, or maybe it was even a couple of videos, where I speculated to this be the case, right? I speculated this to be the case. Remember, I said, also, I think most likely, Arthur, because uh, a lot of people were trying to say, oh, Bavar is going to get the Arthur Betterbiv versus Joe Smith winner. I was like, no. Baval is probably going to face Buwatsi next. It'll probably be Baval versus Buwatsi unless they're trying to, you know, save face for Buwatsi and they don't feel like he's ready yet. And they don't, you know, they want to kind of keep, you know, what's the word for it? I don't want to be an asshole about it, but um, keeping that record safe, right? Keeping that bubble from popping, you know what I'm saying? Having a certain uh, a perception about Buwatsi that may not be 100% true. So they may not put Baval, uh, Buwatsi in the ring with Baval, but I think personally, or what I said was Yard's going to get the winner of Better Bill versus Joe Smith. Probably going to be Better Bill. So it's probably going to be Better Bill versus Yard in October. And we'll probably see Baval versus Buwatsi um, probably like in September. Um, that's what I think. And then the winner of those two fights will face each other next year, which will probably be uh, Yard versus Baval. Yeah, you see? I thought I was going to say Better Bill. Now, fuck out of here, man. But I just want to give salutations and salute blessings. I appreciate this right here. Y'all don't even know, man. I'm happy finally Yard's getting his motherfucking recognition. Lions in the count. Lions in the camp. All y'all had all that thing to say about him. Said he was a YouTube boxer. He didn't have the skill. He couldn't do X, Y, and Z. And he's just continually proving the haters and the doubters wrong. I love y'all, man. Salute to you. So let's go ahead and get up into this article. I'm not going to read too much of it. I just kind of want to let you guys know and confirm that Yard will be facing the winner of Better Bid versus Joe Smith. But let's go ahead and get up into this. God dang. Dang. Promoter wait. Frank Warren says WBO mandatory Anthony Yard is poised to face the winner of the June 18th unification fight between 175 Champion Art of Better and Joe Smith Jr. in October, possibly in the UK. That's fire right there, boy. So uh, promoter Bob Arum of Top Rank said this week that he's not interested in matching the Better Biff Smith winner against Baval because he fights on the Zone app, and those two fight on ESPN. Arum suggested that Baval defends his WA mandatory against Zordo Ramirez next. Oh, there's that too. So I'm like, if, if Boati ain't ready for Baval, he might take that. That Ramirez fight, which is dangerous for anyone. Ramirez, I, I just was put on Ramirez. He's a dog. So I thought it was a decent fight, said Frank Warren, about the Joshua Boise and Craig Richards. I thought Craig Richards gave a real good account of himself and gave him a few problems. So it was the final eliminator for the WBA 175 uh, champion, Dimitri Bivol. I don't know why they're talking about Anthony Yard. That's what you fought for. That's what you signed up for. So fight Bivol. Anthony Yard has bigger fits. So he's basically talking about Boise wants to fight Yard. And anybody who doesn't know, Yard tried to fight Boise like years back, and Boise didn't want the smoke. Now he's calling out Yard. We all know Yard is prime position for this, as you can see, it's confirmed today uh, for the Better Biv uh, um, versus um, Joe Smith Jr. winner. So it does. It, it sounds like a like a cop out plea, in my opinion, for Boise to now call out Yard because he probably feels like he'll be. He probably feels like he has a better chance against Yard than Bavall. Well, in my opinion, I think Bavall and Yard both beat Boise. I think Boise out of the group is probably the most overrated. We saw that against Craig Richards. Um, my opinion. Excuse me if I'm offending any Boise fans. Uh, anyways, uh, Anthony Yard has bigger fish to fry at the moment. He's in a great position. He's a WBO next mandatory for those three belts that Joe Smith and Arthur Better are fighting for, and he will get the winner of the fight in October, and we're trying to do that here. That's where we are at. If he wins, Anthony, I think he's not. he's got a good chance of winning that world title. He'd fight B uh, Boatsy immediately. 
Uh, so that is, if, if Anthony Yard beats the Bitter Bev Smith winner, then he'll go after Boati then. I don't know what Boati is going to do. In the meantime, that's up to him and his people. I don't even know if he's going to stay where he's at. Yeah, that's a good point, too. So um, what do you guys feel about this particular announcement, seeing Anthony Yard finally getting the recognition he deserves, and he's going to get the winner of Bitter Bev versus uh, Smith winner? Do you think he deserves it all? Are you excited for this? Do you guys just not care at all? Like, why the fuck are you even talking about Yard? Well, guess what? I'll continue to do it because Yard is the best, man. Lions in the camp. Lions in the camp all day. Much love to the people, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, hey, at least you watched. I appreciate that. Like button, like button, like button. Subscribe to the channel. Stop being not subscribed and watching the videos. If you watch more than one video and you're not subscribed, goddamn, just subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Show us some love. Comment as always on the Arnold Schwarzenegger side of the game.